It's been an emotional morning. The late minister in the presidency, Jackson Tembu, has been laid to rest in his hometown in Mpumalanga. My colleague Tula Sizwe Similane has been braving the wet weather this morning, and he joins us now. Uh, for most, it's believed, Tula Sizwe, that when it rains, it's a sign of a blessing. And I guess it is quite a befitting farewell uh, to Dato Jackson Tembu. Yeah, absolutely, Dudu. I think from a symbolic point of view, the rain really is appropriate in that many of us sort of need uh, the kind of refreshment uh, from, you know, a torrent to just refresh our spirits, really, given the sense of loss, the deep sense of loss that many, many South Africans have felt in the last few months and also including today with the, the, the funeral and the burial of the late Jackson Mtembu. But from a logistics perspective and from just getting on with the you know, events of the day, it has really made things that much more difficult uh, for the mourners who have come here because it seemed to intensify did the rain in the last while. It's sort of easing up a bit, but I mean it's really after all the work has been done in terms of uh, giving Jackson and Tembu a befitting uh, final farewell. But nonetheless, uh, the rain did not take away from the spirit uh, of the people that came through here. The people that were paying their tributes to the late Jackson Mtembu, do, do, I think uh, some of the speeches delivered here today will ring for quite a, a number of years to come. What the message from the priest uh, at the end of the service, talking about the need for people to live up to what Jackson Mtembu stood for, speaking out particularly around issues of corruption and saying that as you go to the local government elections, make sure that you emulate leaders like Jackson M. Tembu in selecting those that will lead. The message by uh, the, 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 uh, Jackson M. Tembu's daughter, Tuli, touched many people really. Uh, and also the friend, uh, Jackson M. Tembu's friend, Mr. Makosin Nkosi, reflecting uh, on the years uh, and their memories, as well as that letter uh, from his widow, uh, Tembi M. Tembu. All of that compounded together and then summed up by President Cyril Ramaphosa. I think it was an apt and a fitting tribute uh, to a man who lived his life to the fullest until the end. That's what we saw and witnessed inside the church in terms of the proceedings. But the people of Emelatleni coming out in their numbers uh, in spite of the rain to also pay their tributes. What did he mean to those people? Oh, yeah, those visuals were stunning to do. I mean, you saw for yourself as the cottage was making its way from where we are at the uh, hall here and making its way to the Pretoria Memorial Cemetery. People just lining the streets despite the rain, you know? I mean, I think it just gives you, it just tells you what this person meant for people to say, rain or no rain, we can't be there physically to say our goodbyes, but we will stand outside and just wave as the cottage makes its way. I think you can sum up there. Jackson Mtembu always rooted throughout his life here in Emalathene, born here, um, lived in a place called Kromkrans at some point in his life. It's not far from here within Mpumalanga, but really his roots were firmly here. Even when he moved to Joburg uh, for a while, uh, and as well as being in parliament, never left this community, always rooted here, including being involved in community projects. Uh, we were talking earlier on about the local church, uh, the church that he attended here, uh, that had been uh, vandalized and destroyed under the year, during the years of apartheid, uh, where he was party to ensuring that um, it is rebuilt uh, and that, that church stands. Uh, even today, many people talking about how he, how approachable he really was, that he would, you would just walk up to him and talk to him uh, and ask him to, uh, questions and be able to, to engage in a conversation uh, with him. Let me sum up and say, uh, to, to, in terms of his rootedness among the people, there's a picture that's been circulating on social media of Jackson M. Tembu sitting in the back of, the bar, of a baki, uh, an ANC campaign baki. This is Jackson Mtembu in 2019, someone who was well accomplished, who could have easily been in an SUV uh, that has um, air conditioning, as many of his comrades do, um, and as many do in other political parties as well. But wanting to hit the ground like any other activist, any other ordinary activist, here he was, 
uh, being driven around like an ordinary mobilizer uh, for the 2019 elections for the ANC. I think that image sums up uh, what he meant to the community here, but also the community across South Africa. That humility, him continuing to live in Akaville here uh, in Emalatheni, I think it really sums up the simplicity and humility of a man who really was a, a great South African leader. And that's, I guess, what endeared him uh, to many South Africans. Uh, but also, he was somebody who championed the cause of the media, trying to uh, repair fractured relationships between party members and members uh, of the media. Tula Sizu. Yeah, absolutely, Dudu. I mean, I go back to that the gathering, um, uh, uh, sort of uh, that event called the gathering, uh, that is held, has been held in the last few years. There was one where he participated, and he was emphatic that the freedom of the media and the rights of journalists and the media are indivisible to the freedoms that are enjoyed by society broadly. He was emphatic, he was clear, uh, categorical, to say, you think you can chip away at freedoms of the media and think your democracy will remain intact. You're fooling yourself. He said, you chip away at the freedoms of the media, soon it will be our political freedoms, uh, freedom of assembly, and soon you will have no democracy to speak of. When the debates were raging around the media appeals tribunal in the ANC, Jackson M. Tembu took a very strong stance in favor of uh, media freedom. Even uh, in those, uh, during those debates uh, around the secrecy bill, he was someone who was known to say, let's be uh, measured in our approach as the ANC. Let's not uh, hastily enter into a position because of the space we find ourselves in at the moment in terms of media scrutiny, because beyond uh, this moment, this democracy has to remain intact. So absolutely no doubt, even when he disagreed with some of us as journalists, you knew it's not personal. You knew it doesn't denigrate you and doesn't question your legitimacy uh, to be asking those questions. So that's part of his multifaceted legacy, his ability to stand for freedom of the media. You got an opportunity to uh, chat to the spokesperson of the African National Congress, Pule Mabe, and he shared some of his reflections with you. Yeah, not only Pule Mabe, uh, Pule Mabe talking about uh, working with Jackson Mtembu within the structures of the ANC uh, and his insistence that even after, um, now, now that Jackson Mtembu was now minister in the presidency, even during this period of communicating around the response to COVID-19, that he would occasionally um, call and basically, um, I'm distracted a little bit there to do it because uh, as I'm speaking to you behind the camera, we are seeing the family of Jackson Mtembu, um, including the widow uh, Tembi uh, Mtembu, coming back to the hall here. Uh, and I'm not uh, really sure um, that perhaps it's a need that they felt that they needed uh, to come back uh, one more time. Um, they're all just walking in and filing into this hall uh, at the moment. So that's why you heard me being distracted there for a moment. So they've just come back from the cemetery and are making their way in here now. No one else is inside the hall, of course, at this point, uh, because uh, many of the mourners have since dispersed. Um, I do suspect that they are here to basically um, just get that final closure and be able to do something symbolic um, that, you know, they've been deprived of um, under these circumstances uh, of the COVID-19 situation. So that's why I'm a bit distracted. Um, and yeah, just also not trying to interfere too much uh, and give the, the family the, that opportunity to have that privacy um, and be able to do what it is that gives them closure uh, at this particular point. Right, let's afford them uh, that uh, privacy. Tulasizwe Simelani uh, coming to us uh, there from the hall where the uh, proceedings were held for the late Dr. Jackson Mtembo a little bit earlier. Today.